What's up guys? So today we are going to be uh, doing a lot of things actually to both this 97 and my 99 over there. Um, let me just show you what I'm going to do. So the 97 is about to go away and uh, before it goes I want to get this ZZP aluminum radiator out of here because I want to keep that for the 99. It's brand new. I just put it in. So what we're going to be doing today is taking the radiator out of here taking the radiator out of the 99 and then we're going to be swapping radiators from one car to the other so first thing i got to do is we're going to take this one apart So I had some visitors and I had to talk and work at the same time so I didn't film this part but this is not a tutorial anyway this is just a vlog to show you guys what's going on but as you can see the 97 is back together it has the 99's radiator in it which fit just fine and it's kind of an upgrade for this car anyway I'm bleeding the air out of the cooling system right now letting it warm up and then this one will be done I've got the red cars radiator out lots of space god i wish you could have this much space and still have a radiator but over here we've got the zzp radiator sitting out ready to go in miscellaneous other parts i took off and some fans and this that and the other um but i'm going to check this one out the rest of the way get it completely done and then i'll move on to showing you guys what i'm going to do over here Next update, this car is finished. The black car is completely back together and done. This is way not, but let me show you what I did over here. 
here are my new fans that I rigged up for the for the red car I wanted a lower profile fan that would fit in there better with the uh, with the headers and these are a slim low profile universal fan I've basically got them attached to the top lip here and here on both sides and then I've got them with these push through connectors on the bottom and I used the factory harness to make a harness to run these fans exactly like stock they should just take up less space so the next thing to do is try to shoehorn all of this back into the car together but before I can do that I'm gonna need to swap these radiator hoses out because I have the ZZP ones that I want to put in next update it fits I am pretty happy about this not only do the fans have room by the way hello ZZP radiator hoses but look how much more space the fan has versus the header I can fit my whole hand in between there where the old one was really close but the wiring all fits up the same everything's good there I've got all this back together I'm just gonna get the dog bone mounts back in and we can go ahead and start bleeding this thing and see how it works okay so i ran out of time yesterday so it is actually day two now and let me show you what i've already done i moved the 97 back over here into the spot where i basically put cars i'm not working on it is now ready for its new owner that'll be the next video you see this car in i moved the 05 back over here because i've got a little something to do to it soon and all we have left over here on the 99 is I need to get coolant back in it and get it bled then warmed up then we'll look at this a little bit more bleeding and everything later and this car is back together and finished up I've got to uh, wipe it down a little bit where I made some messes but see if I can get enough light in here I'll show you guys how much room I've got now these fans just made a huge amount of space there's my ZZP lower radiator hose here you can see the clearance 
if I can get the light in the right place, the clearance between the header and the fan, which is quite a bit more than there used to be. There's my upper hose. And that's it. Everything is functional. And it's already warmed up. So everything is good to go. So that's it for this car. Um, you'll see the black car one more time when the new owner comes to pick it up. And you will see the 99 next in the video where we're going to tune and get it ready to go back to the track in the dyno. Uh, so I will see you guys in that video. Make sure you drop this one a like. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Thank you.